Somebody please cue that void. Samurai pizza cats. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai pizza cats. Right on! They're stepping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're speedy ceviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right. A heck of a fighter ah. makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> It's a quiet night in Little Tokyo as a simple snake charmer practices his craft, unaware that he will soon witness a terrible new threat to the citizens of his fair city. All right, it's your turn. Let's go. Don't you ever quit? Good help is so hard to find. What the? The near-perfect music the trio heard was coming from the flute of a solitary stranger who appeared to be wearing a colander on his head. You play a very charming flute, sir. Never mind that. Get me something to eat. Huh? I can't. The kitchen is already closed. I said I want something to eat, and I want it now! Uh, I hate it when that happens. Downtown, Big Cheese awakens with a sneeze and a start. <laughs> Briefly. Here you go. It's my specialty. Green corn! I hate green corn. I hate the way it looks. I hate the way it smells. I hate everything about it. How can you serve it to me? Now, now, how do you know you don't like it unless you try it? Take it away or suffer the consequences. Oh, come on. One itsy little bit isn't going to hurt you. Huh? Hey, where are you going? Who's going to pay for this? Goodbye! <laughs> I hate green corn. Ha! He must be the food critic for the Little Tokyo Gazette. Whoever he is, he takes his dining seriously. I thought I smelled pizza cats. I want to talk to you. All right. I'm only going to say this once, so listen up. You pizza cats have exactly one hour to get out of town. Says who? Yeah, says who? Says me, that's who. And if you don't get out, I'm going to make your lives a living nightmare. Oh, no, a living nightmare. I'm so scared, I can hardly move. This guy's really starting to get on my nerves. Wise guys, huh? Prepare to feel the wrath of my awesome power. Oh, yeah? Well, we're ready. Yeah, give us your best shot, Buckethead. Hey, what if he is telling the truth and he can make our lives a living nightmare? Well, it's a little late to be worrying about that now. You should have thought of that before you challenged him. I challenged him? You were the one who called him Buckethead? Not till after you opened your big mouth and... Are we gonna fight or what? I haven't got all day. Hey, Furnace Face, why don't you get out of here before you get hurt? It's you two who are gonna get hurt. You better hope your life insurance is paid up. Yeah! Does this spell the end of my job? I'll never tell. <laughs> oh, drat. News travels fast in cartoons like this, and by morning, word of the mysterious stranger reached none other than geriatric. She's listening. Unfortunately for Jerry, he'd chosen to interrupt Big Cheese's weekly boxing lessons, as this cleverly assembled montage of boxing bravado clearly shows. <sighs> What a 
an uppercut by that challenger, folks. The champ is going down for the count. <laughs> Remind me to hire a stunt double. Yes, of course. Forgive my intrusion, your cheesiness, but there is something you must see. Hey, what's going on out there? The mysterious stranger has been attacking the city, causing panic and chaos everywhere. We have no word yet on who this stranger is, but we can report that he is causing panic and chaos everywhere. You two use the same writer. No, but I think it's time I found a new one. Who's the attacker? He wears the ancient armor of work, so there's only one bad bird it could be. I'm afraid your cheesiness, that bad bird is bad bird. Hmm. You remind me of my father when you talk like that. Makes me want to give you a kiss. Everyone here is confused. Who is this menace? What does he want? Let's go live to our attack cam and find out. trick and special effect we know on this Joker, and look how we ended up. This guy's invincible. Of course I'm invincible. I'm a master in the deadly art of war crow. No, you haven't got a chance. <laughs> Who does this Joker think he is? And how did he hear what Guido said? In case you're unconvinced of ultimate evil power, watch this. <gasps> oh! <laughs> All right, missile head, don't move or I'll blast you. Ah! Oh, no, he's got Lucille. Now he's gone too far! Gee, what are you gonna do, Speedy? Stand up to his awesome power? And fight a hopeless battle for her honor? Well, actually, I kind of hope you guys would do it while I supervise. <laughs> 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 Mother Mutt and her silly son begin to race with Speedy as he streaks across the sky. Uh oh, looks like they take on a wrong turn, leaving Speedy to win. Told you this was a good idea. Oh, shut up. I just can't handle all this stress, you know. In case you hadn't guessed, it was none other than Speedy Ceviche, Pizza Cat Extraordinaire! Show yourself, cat! I'd be happy to! I'm here to save the day! Speedy, my hero! Oh, yeah? Well, take your last look at him! Ah, leave her alone, you cauldron-headed freak, before I'm forced to make pizza out of you! Get real, Ceviche! I've been looking forward to this showdown for a long time! Oh, you mean we've met? I don't remember ever meeting a walk and touch oven before. Maybe it was at the annual crime convention last year. No, that's not it. I know you're the president of the Pizza Cats fan club. No, you idiot. I'm a bad guy, remember? All right, I'll show you who I am. Behold my awesomeness! With the speed of lightning and the best special effects that money can buy, the mysterious attacker leaps to the sky and begins an almost magical transformation, slowly revealing his true identity along the way. It's none other than that nasty ninja ne'er-do-well, Bad Bird. <laughs> Bad Bird, you creep. <laughs> That's right, it's me. And I'm going to do to you what you've been doing to me since this series began. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. You're finished, Serviche. I'm gonna make you wish you'd never been born, unless you're too chicken to fight. Oh, yeah? Come on! <laughs> Is this the end for our beloved Speedy? Or just a convenient place to put a commercial? 
<laughs> He's beating Speedy, I love it! Calm down, Cheese! It's true, he does have the advantage over Speedy, but he hasn't beat him yet. And besides, even if he does beat him, there is no guarantee that Bad Bird will remain loyal to you. After all, he has done all this on his own so far. Come on, Jerry, you worry too much. Of course he'll stay loyal. Where else would he get to work with a genius like me? Would you let go of me? I can't breathe. You're squeezing me too hard. Sorry about that. I guess I got a bit carried away. I hate it when he does that. <laughs> So what's it gonna be? Are you a man enough cat to take on this crow, or are you just chicken? Come on, Sir BJ, make up your mind. I haven't got all day, you know. I'll never run from the likes of you. Of course, maybe we could discuss it over lunch. You open for business, Lucille? Sure. Come to think of it, I am a bit hungry. Will that be fighting or non-fighting? Non-fighting, non please. Here you go. One bird seed surprise and a cup of catnip soup. Hmm, smells great. <laughs> Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Well, how is it that suddenly you're so strong? Good question. After our last battle, when you guys destroyed one of my well-thought-out but poorly executed plans to destroy you and the rest of the Pizza Cats, I got to thinking that it's not fair you guys win all the time. After all, I'm the whip. Anyway, I started to get real mad. I mean, I was really burning up. So, I did something about it. Huh. What did you do? Come on, tell us. What a bunch of baloney. <laughs> I mean, that's what some people would say, but not me. Nope. Not that I'm scared of you. So what did you do? Go into training or something? A lot more than that. I decided to study the ancient ninja crow way. That meant doing all sorts of dangerous and painful things too awful to even animate. I worked until I nearly collapsed. And still, I was no better than before. The same old bad bird. Do you have any idea how humiliated I felt? That's awful. It's so sad. Who's paying the check? Oh, well then, thanks for dining at Lucille's. Will you be paying with a major credit card or cash? I haven't really thought about it. And besides, the way this tasted, you should be paying me to get rid of it. Sorry about that. My regular chef has the day off. Well, maybe you should close on those days. I mean, this soup could peel paint. <laughs> <coughs> huh? I'd like to finish my story if you two don't mind. No, we don't mind. Now, where was I? I decided that I would have to prove my worthiness by mastering the ancient armor of Wark. Here comes another flashback. Ooh, this one's got lightning and stuff in it. Would you two cut it out? I'm burying my soul here. Anyway, it was a dark and rainy night when I arrived at the ancient cave of Wark. Many before me had tried to unlock the secrets of the cave, but they all suffered a terrible fate. They were killed? Worse! They were forced to work as extras on low-budget horror films. <laughs> Whoa! The low beat! I walked into a chamber where Wark, the first ninja crow, had hidden invincible armor. All around were statues of giant warrior crows of old, guarding the ancient armor from unworthy hands. <laughs> The armor started glowing. Then it hit me with some kind of strange force field. Oh, no, you don't. I've worked too hard to walk away from you now. Oh. Ah. Oh, I am a worthy ninja crow. I deserve to wear the ancient armor. They're not going to deny me what's right and what's fair and what I should have had included in my contract. Oh. You're not going to beat me. No way. You're mine. I'm not giving up. Oh. Ah. Terrible thing to go through. That'll be twelve ninety-five. All in good time, Lucille. Speedy and I have some unfinished business. Right, Speedy? That's right, and I'm ready anytime you are. Why don't we make this fight interesting? You mean you quit and I win? No, you twerp. I mean a bet. Whoever loses gets to pay the check. Then who's gonna cover the tip? Don't worry about it, Lucille. I'm gonna beat him so bad he'll pay the bill and tip you twice. Stop it! You can't have your fight here. I have to get the place ready for tonight's dinner rush. All right, we'll meet at sunset on the beach, and I'll make you tip her three times. Hmm. 
Later that day, word of the impending showdown had spread like wildfire throughout Little Tokyo. Thousands gathered to watch the fight of the century, the battle between good and evil, the struggle between right and wrong, the biggest special effects display yet to be used in this series, an event unmatched in cartoon history, complete with food booths, street vendors, and play-by-play -play announcing. Candy, bubblegum. Before we start, my mom is running for mayor and wants to say something. Vote for me! seen anything like it. What a battle. What a fight. What a... Hey, I'm supposed to be calling this fight. Oh, sorry. business and live like normal cartoon cats. That's starting to sound like a good idea. Lucille and I could start up our singing group again. No, not that. You said it. Come on, Speedy, get up. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Not bad for a ninja crow, but now I find better foe. I'm gonna do to you what I should have done in the first place. With a craft of thunder and a lot of pink swirly stuff, our hero brings out his ultimate weapon. I'm talking about the awesome power of the magical Ginzu sword. Sharp enough to cut through steel, light enough to take anywhere, and it cuts up stir-fried vegetables faster than you can say Bob's your uncle. Oh, looks like Bad Bird has a new trick up his sleeve. Or should I say up his back? Oh, never mind. <laughs> My Kitsu power absorber works. You're still a loser. I'm rubber and you're a glue. Whatever you say bounces on me and sticks to you. This is marvelous, Bad Bird One. It appears so, but you can't be sure when you're dealing with Speedy. Come on, get up! I'm not through with you just yet. I've still got a few secret weapons to show you. Looks like it's all over, folks. It's Bad Bird by a knockout. Get up! Or are you too chicken? I think Speedy's hurt. Why isn't he moving? We won, we won, the pizza cats are done. done. It's time to have some fun. As Cheese celebrates the victory, a wave of shock sweeps over our heroes, for Speedy's not yet shown any signs of life. I'm happy, I'm happy. I could explode. Hooray for Bad Bird! He won, he won! So much for that. Guess I'll go conquer the town now. I can't believe Speedy lost to him, Meanie. He's not getting up. You don't think he's... Is this the end of the Pizza Cats? Will evil triumph over goodness? Find out the answers in part two next time on Samurai Pizza Cats. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The Pizza Cats are samurai. And I'd like to note 
Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cats! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Samurai Pizza Cats. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. 